Meanwhile, uh, shooting survivors and family of local homicide victims want more than what the new gun safety law offers. Some say key issues are actually being ignored. Reporter Larry Seward joins us live in the West End. Larry, what's missing? Well, they want better incentives to get key violent crime witnesses talking with police and detectives and more support to help shooting survivors move to safer places without either two families see more suffering ahead. The back of Miss Gibson's SUV is a memorial. Those six loved ones lost in recent years, gunfire killed three, and the homicides of her daughter Victoria, grandson Darius, and great nephew DeMonte are all unsolved. Key witnesses refuse to speak up, which is why Miss Gibson spoke off camera. She tells us it's the one problem she wants solved more than the better gun buyer background checks, beefed up red flag laws, and gun trafficking crackdowns coming from the Safer Communities Act celebrated by President Joe Biden with a delegation from Cincinnati at the White House. Here it is. My life has been turned upside down. I'm traumatized. I'm not sleeping. I'm barely eating. Last month. Renee Jackson showed us video of a stranger spraying bullets outside her home. Police say she was an innocent bystander caught in crossfire. Oh! It more than shattered her knee. Until they're caught, there's no hope. Witnesses refused to talk with police. Some suggested they'd get revenge on their own. But I don't want anybody coming and retaliating on me or thinking I sent somebody out to retaliate. I, I, I don't because I don't have people like that. If, if it, it's time to stop. But Jackson sees the culture of silence denying her justice and keeping her attacker free while she lives in fear with no programs helping her move to someplace safer. So while she and Miss Gibson embrace the new gun safety law without more support for survivors or ways to get witnesses talking, they see little relief for their families. Basically, I'm a prisoner in my own home. It's not safe around here. I went through gunshots and all this for three summers in a row. Enough is enough. In the West End, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.